Now, when you see potential, you have to ask yourself, are you ready to develop this potential into something worthwhile? And you know, that's a question I ask myself constantly. Can I take this and turn it into something big that the masses are gonna appreciate but still be true to what we're about over here at Shady? So, and then sometimes you're fortunate enough to come across an act that is pretty self-contained, you know, whether not only musically, but from a team standpoint. And even that, that's like the modern template now for artists. You want to be as complete as possible. You want to come in with a team intact, your music, your vibe, your lane, a pretty solid idea of what you're trying to do over the next couple of years and how it fits with what we're trying to do over the next few years. In having a team and having your act together prior to walking through those doors, you have a certain amount of leverage in your favor. Strap yourself up with a good lawyer, and you know you'll you'll you should be good to go in terms of having some kind of leverage where you're not being lowballed. You also want to keep in mind that you want to. This is a stat-based game now, and what the uh, the internet's been able to do for folks is you keep track of uh, of the activity, you know that, that that you got going on. That's why I would suggest put it up on YouTube. The internet's been able to provide folks with ammo to do it themselves doesn't mean that they're gonna get a deal online it means that now their that momentum and everything that you've created is being documented online there's proof of this how hot you are so you might be hot on the block but your numbers aren't reflective of that you know so you've got YouTube you've got Twitter followers you've got Facebook friends like you know all these things are there and a majority of these labels take a look at that as the uh, as a template of what your, what your capabilities are and what your potential is. You know, um, you gotta look at what the little bees are doing. You gotta look at what Yellow was doing. You gotta look at what Mac Miller's doing. Today's genre of artists is very self-sufficient and that is so the way to move forward. Cause it's like, if you have a combination of raw talent, a good team and some momentum on your side, then you're gonna get a call from myself and just about anybody else in my field, you know. And even with that, keep in mind, you have to ask yourself: Are these major? Is am I an act that a major label is gonna dump about a quarter of a million to a million dollars just to make sure, just to get me on the radio? You have to ask yourself that, you know. And you have to be very realistic because you're gonna say yes to that answer, but there's about about a million other people saying the same thing, you know. So. Keep that in mind as you strap your boots up and uh, and, 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 and and take a crack at trying to get into the business. You know, uh, to build a livelihood from from music and just even rap in general is no easy task. So you really have to ask yourself: Are you prepared for this? Are you prepared for those shows performing for two people? Are you prepared for those two people just standing and looking at you like you're smoking crack? Are you prepared to take the trips from to and from your county to the next county to the next state because you have an opportunity over there? Are you prepared for that? Are you prepared for the feedback that comes with posting your music online? Are you prepared for somebody saying, this music sucks, he's a dork? Are you prepared for that? You gotta have thick skin and you gotta have a clear mind. That's exactly what you wanna do. Um, are you prepared to take other people along for the ride with you? You know. Um, Again, you have to look at these artists. You have someone like a Mac Miller, who uh, right now still has no deal, from what I understand. And, you know, he's selling out shows, venues, big venues. And, um, you know, that's a tremendous amount of leverage. And that's also an testament to his team, the people behind him on the viral end, the people behind him on the managerial end. You know, shout out to Artie Pitt, by the way. Um, quite as kept big reason why both Wiz and Mac are at that level and I point him out because everybody needs someone like that in their squad you know um, funding or not you still need somebody with an understanding of how to navigate online and that's a huge factor you know um, you have to have an understanding of it it is not that easy while the internet will provide you with a, a an opportunity to do things yourself
even with that, it's a whole nother world. You have to accumulate stats via that world. And it has to come to the attention of the gatekeepers online. Just because there's no print or, 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 or just because everything's been transferred online doesn't mean the gatekeepers, you know, still aren't who they are. You know, they may have turned, they, at one point they were the gatekeepers on the print front. Now they're the gatekeepers on the uh, online front. And they're just as critical as music uh, uh, there as they were on, on the print front. So it's going to take some work. Are you prepared for that? Ask yourself that. Well, from an independent, independent labels are going to become more and more important as time moves on. Uh, especially now the way the business continues to consolidate. You know, uh, we have the big four, which is EMI, Sony, Universal, and Warner. I'm pretty sure sooner than later there's going to be the big three. And what happens is that once you continue to consolidate, you know, people get let go, there's changes within that system, and now things become more, they're very selective of what gets prioritized. Here comes the uh, independent label. The independent label's got a nice little system in play. They've got a following, they've got a brand, and you know, if if it makes sense, it's probably in the best interest of that label, of the major label, to, uh, to be in bed and have a partnership with an independent. But when I'm talking about an independent label, I'm talking about an independent label. I'm not talking about, you know, Somebody placing a CEO on their car doesn't mean that they're running an independent label. When I mean a label, it means a full functioning operation. Something like what Tech9 has. Which you have to see what Tech9 is doing. Do your research. But there right there is another template of probably the, it's probably the parameter from an independent label in 2011 and what the capabilities are. When you're talking about an independent label, you're talking about catalog, you're talking about a warehouse full of merchandise, you're talking about, you know, a, a brand. And then there's the other the other side, which is more of an imprint. An imprint would be something that, you know, a, a very popular artist and his right hand man, you know, have going on together. And even that in itself is something that, that's a work in progress. So those are the two options that you have as far as exceeding just being being an artist on a business level.